Poland nabs octogenarian with five kilos of heroin in suitcase. This is from the Associated Press. An 80-year-old, an 81-year-old Danish woman traveling from Africa to Canada was arrested at Warsaw Airport on suspicion of illegal possession of heroin worth over $515,000. Officials in Poland said Friday, customs officers at Frederick Chopin Airport decided to check the woman's luggage Sunday after becoming suspicious of her itinerary and her uneasy behavior. Packages with five kilograms, that's 11 pounds, of heroin were discovered under a false suitcase bottom. The woman traveling from Malawi and Kenya through Doha and Warsaw denied any wrongdoing and said family members had given her the suitcase with gifts for relatives in Canada. According to Alexandra, I'm so sorry, Alexandra, I can't say your last name. Skizanyars, a spokeswoman for the prosecutor's office in Warsaw. She was detained for three months! And prosecutors have opened an investigation! Under Polish law, she faces up to 15 years in prison for illegal possession of narcotics. Denmark officials confirmed that a Danish citizen was determined was detained in Poland and said the minister the Poland ministry is uh, providing consular assistance. This woman was 81 years old. She had 11 pounds of heroin in her in her suitcase. Now I wanted to find out more about this story. So I reached out to our good friend. Oh no, where is it? Our good friend Lynette Schwartz, who is on the phone right now. Lynette is an education supervisor out of Bayonne, New Jersey. And she has a new book coming out called Out With The Older, A Guide To Getting Older. Coming out September 24th. Lynette, are you on the phone? Yes, dear, I'm here. It's a pleasure to be back, Torley. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. I'm very excited to have you back, Lynette. Lynette! Oh, so you have read this story of this 81-year-old woman who, uh, who got arrested with 11 pounds of heroin in her suitcase. Yes, I've read it. And I just want to say that, um, it's dismaying. It's dismaying. You know, we, we do have a drug problem. We have a very serious drug problem in the world, and it causes things like this. And this is something that, uh, you know, I believe very strongly in, and I believe that uh, something should be done about this. Now, what is surprising to me, this woman is saying she didn't know anything about it, that, that her family just give, gave her the suitcase and the heroin was in there. Yes, I don't, I don't believe that. I believe... Um, that she knew farewell that that heroin was there, and she was tra trafficking that heroin. Now, would you, is this what they call a, um, I don't know if this is a politically correct term, but, it, and I apologize if it's not, but was she like, they call them drug mules? Was she a drug mule? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think, I don't think she was a drug mule at all. I think uh, what's happening here is this woman... Uh, knew full well what she was doing. She was bringing this uh, heroin to Canada to sell. And um, see, here's the thing. A lot of times people, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to be too general, but people will, will discount old people. You know, this is what I talk about in my book. My new book is coming out September 24th. It's called Out with the Older, A Guide to Getting Older. And in it, I talk about how younger people and people younger than older people uh, often discount old people. They just look at old people and they go, well, they're not up to anything. They're not doing, you know, it is known, and I've come on this show and I've talked about it before, how old people in, in homes and uh, older, you know, elder facilities, they're having sex 24-7. All right, yeah, listen, I don't want to, Lynette, we, we got in trouble about that last time, so I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about that. But you, So what you're saying is that old people, uh, you know, they, they, people just write them off as being old, but uh, really they, they, could be, they could be doing things. They could, be, they could be up to nefarious things. That's right. 
And so in my in my new book, Out with the Older, I talk I tell old people explicitly, if you want to get away with stuff, you can get away with stuff because you're older. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. You're encouraging people to get away with stuff? Break the law, honey. Break the law. You've you've lived your life. Now's the time to have fun. If you want to rob a bank, rob a bank. Well, no, okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We we are not going to be taught telling old people to rob a bank. Well, they can. If you saw an old man walk into a bank, right? Yeah. And he just walks in and he just walks behind the counter and grabs a handful of 50s and walks out. You're just going to go, oh, he's an old man. He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, should we stop him? I don't know. He's an old man. But really, you've just gotten away with a handful of 50s. All right, listen, I don't think... I don't, I don't think this is very good. Let's get back to this woman. This woman knew exactly what she was doing. I will tell you that. She knew she was bringing heroin into Canada. And I think when they dig a little deeper, they will see that she is the head of a large heroin or ring organization in Canada. I don't, I don't know. Now, she said that her family gave it to her. That's, see, that's, when you're old, you could make an excuse like that. You can be like, oh, uh, my, my son just gave me this suitcase. I didn't know that that was in there. Then your son goes to jail and you're, you're home free. Wait, wait, you're gonna, you're gonna send? You're going to send your son off to prison? If it means that you don't go into prison, then hell yes, I would send my son. I would send my son in a heartbeat off to prison if it meant that I would get away and I would make a cool uh, 515000 selling heroin. All right. I don't th I think this, this is horrible. But they detained this woman, and I think they're going to hold her for three months. They're going to get to the bottom of this. Well, I'll tell you one thing right now. I'll tell you one thing. Okay. If they, if they detain this woman and they hold her and they bring down her heroin ring, uh, they're going to realize quickly that they're messed with the wrong fucking people. All right, go, okay, hold on a second. Hold on. Well, first of all, you can't say those words. You can't say those words on... Oh, my God. You can't say those words on, on the live stream. I'm sorry. We're... Listen, that woman got pinched. She did get pinched. And now they're really disrupting, uh, disrupt... Disrupting? Disrupting. Shut up, Torley. Holy cow! See, I'm old. I don't know. I'm old and I'm just cranky. Okay, I believe you. Anyway. Oh, look, it's Sandra D from Greece. All right, can you please, can you please continue? Yes, anyway, uh... They're going to find out. These, these authorities in Warsaw are going to find out that they've messed with the wrong people. This, this old woman, she's going to bring the rest of her crew down there. And they're all going to be on mobility scooters. And they're going to wreak havoc on the Warsaw Police Department unless they let her go. All right. Okay. Lynette! Lynette, the audience is telling me to hang up the phone. Why, well, I am speaking the truth. I am speaking the truth. I am telling people what... They need to hear. And that is that old people, listen, you look at an old person wrong, they'll shank you. Okay, all right, okay, all right, hold on. No, stop. We're not going to, we're not going to, I don't want to hear any of that kind of language. Fuck around and find out. Okay, hang up on her. Hang up. Hang up. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. I apologize. Oh, my God. We cannot, where do you get these guests? We cannot get these guests. We could not have these guests in here. I'm still on the phone. Hey!